So on behalf of Deep Dish TV and Free Speech TV, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to us here at the Left Forum. We, we are with Amiri Baraka, a well-known political activist, theorist, and poet. So Amiri, um, there was a very sharp discussion, and I thought a very useful discussion about the legacy of Malcolm X at this panel you just participated on. Could you sort of concentrate what you think the main debate is? Well, it was about uh, Manning Marable's book, The Reinvention. Uh, you know, Malcolm X reinvented himself. And there was a contention basically about whether the book was an attempt to sort of make Malcolm more human by inventing things about him. You know, comments by the New York Police Department, the FBI, the CIA, uh, people in the Nation of Islam that didn't like him. Or was it a legitimate uh, attempt to, to have another view of Malcolm? And my view was that uh, most of the stuff that was mentioned that was sort of off the wall is undocumented. And you want to know why it was even raised, you know. Uh, uh, so that, that was the, the, the really, was this a legitimate uh, portrait of Malcolm or was this a portrait of Malcolm designed to denigrate his legacy and him to the people? You, you um, posed the question in this panel as I, I heard it about, let's get down to the real issue. The real issue is an ideological question. Absolutely. It's a political question of what are we fighting for and what is it going to take to exactly. win? Exactly. And, and I wonder if you could address that just a little bit. Well, it, because people who are critic in the, the, the mode of criticism in this book and with the, one of the panelists uh, is hiding the fact that basically, and this is true with Marable, they had an ideological difference with Malcolm X. So you're talking about people who come from the... Uh, Democratic Socialists or the Trotskyists or the CP who really denigrate the, the, the influence of the Malcolm, the Nation of Islam, and the Black Liberation Movement on the black masses, you see. Uh, social democracy is not as important to black people's development in this country as it is, as, as say, the Black Liberation Movement. That is, that movement that comes from within the black masses to make uh, change and evolve. Uh, so that's essentially, and what we really, you know, I think that there are people who have views contrary to Malcolm or in a opposition to Malcolm who don't want to state their views that oppose Malcolm, but rather they will talk about things that they think uh, make him less uh, the person we think he is, whatever that means, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I asked, um, I asked uh, Malcolm's daughters about how they viewed the legacy of of Malcolm uh, among young people today, yeah. and maybe that's too abstract a question, but but where do you see the the revolutionary sentiment among among young black men and women today? Well, see, I think that that's something that has to be reorganized. See, the whole I, I raised this in there. The whole question of post-racial America, which is fraudulent, uh, has thrown a lot of young people off. They see, they think that, you know, America now is a wide open field that anybody can make it in. And that's like, you know, patently incorrect, you see. So the whole question of revolutionary modes has to be re-raised. What is possible? What do we need to do? Well, I say, what does a people with $700 billion a year, a population of 50 million, uh, need to do, you know, to get equal rights and self-determination? And that's the question. What we need is discussions on that level. What do we need to do? Not just over that book. You see, that's where I said, what is the ideological conflict? That's what we have to get to. Well, one of the questions I asked several people here was the subtitle of this conference is Confronting Global Capitalism. Yeah. But what does that mean when we're talking, are we talking about making it better, ameliorate? Obviously, there's all these ideological questions even about the words we use. Yeah. Well, I think that that's not a precise I would say that needs to be imperialism because for a lot of folks, capitalism at its lower level still has a positive kind of a, a mode. You see what I mean? The question is, what do we, how do we organize ourselves against imperialism? That's, that's, what, uh, uh, that's what's positive. And I think people get confused about that when they keep talking about capitalism rather than its uh, expanded mode, which is imperialism. You see what I mean? Because you cannot jump on little... Uh, mom and pop shops and things like that, or even in some of these developing countries where they got a little uh, 
you know, petty bourgeois capitalism going, because that's not the problem. They're not invading people's countries, you see. It's imperialism, and that's what we need to focus on. You know? Okay. All right. It's a pleasure. Take care. Okay. Bye -bye. Good luck. Thanks. Can I do one more?